Okay, this is going to be a quick video to show you how to eliminate the double pulse that comes when you try to take a an observer signal from a button press. So when you press a button, it has four states. It goes on and sends a pulse, then it turns off, and then when it's depressed, it sends another pulse and then turns off again. So you'll see that if I hook up a lamp here, you see that it goes on and off and then on and off. Um, so that's an issue for certain redstone devices, such as like... Um, I don't know what the name for this is, but it leaves the block behind piston. Use these for like piston doors and things like that. Uh, so you see that you press the button, it leaves it up, but then as soon as it's depressed, another pulse comes through and it takes it back down. So the solution I found to this, and it took me too long, an embarrassingly long time. Uh, so you just take a repeater signal from this observer. Uh, I'll actually leave a space so it's easier to see. And then you take a redstone power directly from the button press. Use it to lock this observer. And as you can see, uh, oh, you set this to four ticks as well. Four ticks on that one. So then when I press the button, the first two ticks come on. So this repeater turns on and then off. So the button or the piston extends and then quickly retracts, leaves the block up there. And then uh, one tick after that happens, this this uh, repeater gets triggered. So that it locks this in place, and the second pulse from the button getting depressed gets locked, and then you can't, it doesn't go through. See, like it didn't go through there. I'll show it one more time. First one goes through, second one gets locked. You can also see those pressure plates. Um, that's probably what most people's gonna use, people would use it for, uh, piston door. So you can use this to replace an, a typical monostable circuit like this where you press it, it goes to a piston, and then second piston. This is actually one tick faster than this design, but the issue with it is that uh, it makes too much noise. And it sounds a little janky, because I want this, if this this was my door, this represented my door, uh, I would hear this piston go off one tick before. So it kind of tricks your ears into thinking the door's open before it is. And that's why I don't like it personally. And that's why I decided, uh, to make this design in the first place. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I'll probably make another video for a three by three piston door like this, this type of style with a hole in the middle. Uh, I'll probably do that in a few days, but that's it for this. Uh, thanks for watching, see you later.